to the flour, I'm going to go in with water. We want to create a firm dough, but we don't want to over knead the flour for the gluten to form. So we're just going to knead it until it comes together into a very firm dough. So don't add too much of water. So as you're adding, you want to squeeze it to your fingers and let that water absorb or let the flour absorb that water. So now that it has enough water in there, I'm just going to bring it together into a bowl. Next, you're going to cover your dough and allow it to rest for about 10 minutes. So guys, after the dough has finished resting, you're going to take it out of your bowl and we're going to place it onto a floured surface. And we're going to open out the dough. Using your rolling pin, we're going to open it out to about a half of an inch thickness. Just set your dough aside. Let's prepare the butter that goes inside of the dough. So here I have one stick of butter, which is eight tablespoons. And I'm just going to fold my parchment paper over and I'm going to press down and flatten out this butter. So you're just going to take the butter and place it in the center of this dough. Now you're going to fold this over like this. Just fold all of the ends over. You want to close it and create a pouch. Once you have this, you're going to lightly flour your surface and roll this out. Now I'm going to fold this into three. I'm just going to transfer it to my parchment paper. Wrap it and place it in the refrigerator for about 10 to 15 minutes. So now let's prepare our filling. In this saucepan, I have some golden ray butter. You can use butter, you can use golden ray, you can use oil. To that, I'm going to go in with some finely chopped onions. And we're going to allow the onions to sweat until it's very tender. And I have my heat on a medium low for this. Once the onions are nice and soft, we're going to go in with some finely minced garlic. Some hot and pimento peppers, finely minced. And you can put as much or as little hot peppers as you want in this. And I'm going to go in with some finely grated carrots. And we're going to saute this. I'm going to add in some salt. Just a pinch to flavor that those aromatics and the carrots. And allow it to cook until the carrot is tender. Now I'm gonna go in with some chopped banana or shadow benny or culantro or ricao. And we're just gonna mix that in. At this point, I'm gonna take off the stove and I'm just gonna move this over onto the countertop to season our potatoes. So I already boiled and mashed the potatoes ahead of time. I just boiled it in some lightly salted water. I'm going to add in those aromatics that we sorted. I'm just gonna mix this in. Next, we're going to go in with some pepper jack cheese. I like using pepper jack cheese for this, but if you wanted to use your favorite New Zealand cheddar cheese or whatever cheese you like, by all means, feel free to do that. And you're going to mix the cheese into that potato. Now, a quick tip is, if you're using a cheese that's very salty, like a New Zealand cheddar cheese, go a little shy on the salt when you're boiling the potato. If you're using a cheese like I'm using that's not very salty, you can add a little more salt. But at this point, once everything is mixed in, you can go ahead and taste and adjust your salt accordingly. Just set your filling aside, let's work on the dough. I'm gonna lightly flour both sides. 
make sure you flour it so it doesn't stick and then we're gonna start to roll this out I'm gonna roll it to about a quarter of an inch thickness so guys for presentation sake I'm just trimming off the edges that are not very straight because I want my pies to be nice and even and look really pretty when I fold them and I put them together so just barely trim off the the edges so you have a nice rectangle piece of dough to work with okay so now I'm gonna cut this into strips one and you're gonna cut them to the size that you want your pies to be and I'm gonna cut this into a half so you're gonna take your filling and you want your filling to be nice and cool you don't want it to be too hot and you're gonna put some of that filling on one half of the dough me I'm gonna bring this other side over and we're gonna press down to seal using a fork I'm just going to crimp the ends this is gonna help help it to seal and prevent it from opening out and it also makes it look really pretty and as fast as I finish one I'm gonna place it onto a tray so guys I've made out all of the pies now these are going to go back in my refrigerator because I need them to be really really cold before I pop them into the oven now if you wanted to individually wrap these and freeze them and make them at a later date of course you can so once they're finished and they're nice and chilled we'll pop them in and then we'll allow them to cook I'm gonna bite into this for you guys to hear how crunchy it is. Wow! So good!